Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to do a benchmark shootout between six different phones. Three of them are iPhones, three are Android phones, so let's start from the left. Here we have an iPhone 5, we have an iPhone 5C, we have an iPhone 5S, a Nexus S4, a Galaxy S4, and a Moto X. These two are quad-core, the rest are dual-core, and we're going to see how they fare in 3 d Mark and Geekbench. Each of them have had all apps closed in the background, you can see here, all apps are closed. We're only going to run 3D Mark and then Geekbench and see how they fare against one another. On the 3D Mark test, we're going to run Ice Storm Extreme. That's for device to device comparisons according to the test. So we're going to try that out now. I'll see if I can run them all at the same time as much as I can, although we'll get a result at the end. You can see they've started on the iPhone already. It's loading on all the Android phones. And we'll see how it handles it. I'll speed the test up from here on out and we'll go from there. We have our results and the results are very impressive by the iPhone 5S. You can see we have 10,051 as its top score, followed by the Nexus 4 at 7,252, then the Moto X at 7,150, then the Galaxy S4 at 6,953, then followed by the iPhone 5 at 3,299, and then iPhone 5C at 3,294. Those are really close. It's impressive what the iPhone 5S had. Let's see how the other test using Geekbench measures up. Just as before, I've closed all applications in the background, and you can see Geekbench is running on each one of these. Let's move on to the benchmark test for Geekbench 3 and see how all of these fare. Geekbench finished, and you can see the result is pretty impressive again with the iPhone 5S. Double that of the next closest competitor, pretty much. So you can see 14, 14 on the 5S, followed by the iPhone 5, followed by the iPhone 5C, followed by the Moto X, then the Galaxy S4, and then the Nexus 4. Those are pretty impressive results for the iPhone 5S. As a side note, all of these are updated to the latest update available. So these two are both on Verizon. The Nexus 4 is a Google Play version, and then obviously the iPhones are iPhone versions. So these are all on AT&T, but they're all on the latest operating system available for those devices on those carriers. So if you have any questions or comments regarding the benchmarks, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.